evening, sir, and welcome to Travel Places GH on City Star TV. Um, sir, please, I think you look, you know, a little bit like an African and also an American. So, I mean, what's your name? <laughs> well, interestingly, you're not going to judge by my accent. Yes. I am from the United States. However, I am a diaspora by birth, Ashanti. My name is Ampama Kwabena Quarantine. Wow. Yes, yes. My father is from Asiakwa, but uh, our roots is from the Kumasi region. What uh, place? What village up there? Oh, God, don't tell me you froze. <laughs> okay, Jim Fua. I will let you know as you go on. I'll yes, let you know. Thank yes. You Thank yes. you. Okay. So, I mean, um, it's really wonderful to come to the beach and craft market. It's a very beautiful place to be. So, why? What's your purpose in the market? Well, this is my second time coming to this market. I was here literally two weeks ago, and I came for the sole purpose of getting some waste beads. Waste beads in one part of America is all the rave. But I live on the West Coast. I am actually from Hollywood. I am from Los Angeles, California. And I'm going to shock you with a little information that I don't usually share with anybody. Um, but you're the first here to see it. I am a member of the Screen Actors Guild of the United States. So yes, I am a Hollywood actor. And so um, in between acting jobs, I sell. And I'm in the arts and crafts. And so that's why I came back twice to um, look at some extraordinary beads and Mr. Ibrahim here is giving me a good deal. That's why I have a whole collection on the floor of beads that I'm actually purchasing. Yeah, all of this is going to be mine. All of this. And um, so that's why I came back. Okay, That's very beautiful. So how do you see the market? Well, oh goodness, am I going to give away my trade secrets? Well, basically I have, um, and basically this is not just for selfish reasons. I have a woman in Accra. So I'm here doing all the purchasing. She does the designing. And I take it back to America, sell them for tens of thousands of dollars, and send her a nice check. So it's really about me giving back. That's what this is really all about, is to give back in a large way that ordinarily wouldn't have been feasible for her. So since you've actually been in Ghana, how is Ghana? Oh, wow, wow, wow. You know. As I stated earlier, you know, Nana Akofo Adu, um, what's the last so far? I keep getting it wrong. But anyway, he had this thing, I guess 2019, the year of the return. He was really talking about me. I am uh, 47 years returning to Ghana. Um, I did attend school here. I came here in 1970 when Bursia was just going out of office. Well, yes, and um, so that shows you how old I am, but I wear my age well. I'm 60, but uh, I was in New Tafel, so I did uh, attend the Akrik, uh, prestigious Akrik school there. And um, so 47 years I'm returning. It has changed. It has changed. I am in shock. I have gone everywhere. Cape Coast. I went to Ada. 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 Um, I just got back from Kumasi. I flew on World Airways, Africa Airways to Kumasi. No, I didn't drive. I flew there and um, walked. I went to the King's Palace. Yes, it's closed under renovation. Must put that disclaimer out there. But um, I still got uh, a tutor. They still sat with me for 30 minutes, giving me some of the information about the King's Palace. So it's just been extraordinary. Extraordinary. I went to a Brie this morning. My cousin and I were in a Brie. Um, stopped at Rita Marley's house. And um, I'm sad that I'll be leaving Tuesday. But um, it's been amazing. And the good news is I'll be, I will be returning. That's very beautiful. That's very nice. And um, since you were saying about beads, I'm sure you deal with beads. This is the beautiful one. Yes, the, yes very. Can you say? Very beautiful because they have the tradition, you feel yes. Ghana in it. So, can you tell us a little about beads? Because you, you, you know, can tell us. Well, this is a contemporary set. This is the, you know, I rather, I'm going to pass the mic on to this gentleman to speak specifically on the specificities, specificities of this particular bees because this is traditional. So, let me, let me tell you this very bee that you can see. All the bees you see that we are doing in Africa or selling now, like this painted one, 
you can see some similarity with them. So they are a copy of the original beef that were brought through trade through with the Europeans because it was in Venice that these, some of these beefs were coming from. So they came from Venice. We have the Chevrons. We have the Mili Fiori. We have all of them. And these are a collection of them. You'll be wondering why is it in different colors and these are uniform. It is because of the rarity of it. It is so rare that you can get all the color in uniform. So whatever pieces of it you get, you put together to form a necklace. So look at this and look at what is here. We try, you see this, we're trying to do similar to this, but this one is the collection of the pieces of uh, stringing them together in uniform. When they remain, then you put them together. But that was, that can deliberately be done. But this one was done because of the rarity of the beef. It's so rare that you can't get all so you have to put everything together and so beautiful when put together. That is why we still have the contemporary beef and we design them and put them together like this. So this is a collection of beef that aged more than perhaps the three of us, our years together or more. It will be 300 years ago. And myself, I'm able to say this because I wrote my emphasis on beef. I wrote my emphasis on beef. I'm doing it. I did African studies and I did that because I really want to know much of what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. I'm writing. I'm still not even finished the, the thesis because it's so difficult, the concepts I'm using. It's like we are still struggling to finish it. That Thank is you. what you are saying. Thank so you, this Abraham. is wonderful. Wow. In fact, my brother is, is, um, is amazing listening too. Whilst yeah. he speaks, I was so happy. Happy. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, it's it's been nice being in Ghana. You know, Ghana, we have a lot of things here. So, I mean, you are a Ghanaian, you know. So, what can you tell Ghanaians about beef and anything about Ghana? Because I'm sure you've been around Ghana. You see, seeing a lot of beautiful places in Ghana here. What can I tell Ghanaians? Ghanaians. <laughs> oh, man, that's a stretch. Well, it's to take pride in their tradition. Um, the thing is, when I... As soon as I got these beads two weeks ago, people identified me. They and they actually like almost parted the sea when I was. I mean, it was powerful. First they saw the ring, yeah. then they saw this, and so I just say, keep the powerful tradition that you have because this is Ghana, Africa. We have gotten away from the colonialism, the supremacy ideologies. This is Africa, and so I'm proudly representing Africa. I'm representing Ghana, and this is why when I go back to the States, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be... Yes, epic. I understand. Yeah. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much that you really love Africa, Ghana. We are so, so much grateful for the time and energy and for everything, too. I'm thankful and grateful to you for your interviews, and um, thank you for this. Okay, folks, well, this has been a fantastic interview with City Star TV. I encourage you to absolutely subscribe to the channel, watch it, because this is an international wave that we are trying to do here. We're trying to put it on the map. And I am happy coming from Hollywood, Los Angeles, here to you in Ghana.